Hi and welcome to Dave Bowling Guitar on this lovely sunny day and in this video we're going to be upgrading this Westfield uh, Les Paul as promised in the last video. So um, without talking loads and further ado let's just crack on get this thing broken down take the stuff off see what's on it see what's worth keeping see what's worth throwing away and um, and probably a little bit of a dry fit design see what everything's going to look like. Um, Let's just crack on with it. Please note that this guitar gets a little bit abused while I'm working on it. Because, because I don't really care if I put knocks or chips or anything in it because I'm going to relic it. Just in case anybody decides to put a comment going and say, you're not very professional Dave because you like throwing screwdrivers at it and throwing it around the workshop etc etc. Don't worry, it's going to be relic. Okay, I'm stripping it down. Uh, like, these don't look like the original tuners. So I was surprised to see that they were in pretty good nick. So I don't know if I'm going to use these tuners or not, but they are pretty good. But, I don't know, I'll think about it. No. Sometimes you just have to tap the nut off, but uh, yeah. So to recap, strings are off, nuts off, truss rod covers coming off. Keep all your screws and your covers, don't lose them, put them in a box or a tub. So that's done, that's done. It's a mess that is. What's going on there? Uh, that's done. Taking this off. I don't know what this, they've got a PTFE tape. It's like plumber's kind of tape to make the make it, I don't know, so it don't rattle I suppose. Uh, might be a tone thing, I don't know. But anyway, next thing's next, let's take uh, do the electrics. Well, have you ever? That's the pickups that are in it. <coughs> um, they didn't sound too bad, but they were really microphonic. But, uh, interesting. I might pull these apart, just have a quick look at this, we'll see what's going on here. It's very interesting this. There might be microphonic because it looks like somebody's added covers. They're not soldered in the covers don't seem to be soldered in place. Also no, they're not soldered in place and they're held in place with a nut in the end. The pole adjusting screw. It's interesting. 
Let's just take that apart. So let's have a, I just want to have a quick look. Never seen anything like this before. I mean, in all honesty, they, they weren't, like I said before, they, they weren't bad sounding pickups. They were really microphonic. Oh. Interesting. So, I'm assuming... Oh my goodness. So, they're held on with these screws. Okay. <laughs> these are... Yeah, pretty cheap pickups, I suppose. I'm big old fat. Can you see that? So yeah, it's one big fat ceramic magnet, uh, and the build of these pickups ain't that good. Um, they're pretty shit. They sounded reasonable, but anyway. So, nothing to save here, so I'll just cut them out. Throw them in the bin. In fact, I might keep. Well, I keep the cup now. I'm keep the covers uh, and the surrounds as well. You know, this 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 surround, the colour of it. You can hear them going into the bin. It's going into the bin. That's all going in the bin. I'm not going to use that. Um, some people might go, "Why well, you chuck them in the bin? Did you use them?" No, I won't use them. I won't use them. Um, with electrics, I'm just going to cut it all out because I'm not going to use any of the electrics that's in here now. Not that there's um, not that there's anything wrong with it. You're not watching me do this. <laughs> anyway, so uh, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just, it's just, I just need to rewire it fairly properly. So I've got all new wires, pots. I'm going to use mini pots. Um, square it up just like you would do. And let's pull. I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Not totally sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. Whether it's going to be a one pickup job or a two pickup job. Uh, just not sure. So I got um, bolts that I use to extract the um, what do they call these? Oh, what's that? Sounds a bit hollow, doesn't it? We shall see, I suppose. We'll extract these studs, anyway. Hopefully. There's a gap between the top. The bottom of the guitar in cases. <clears throat> this is a really cheap made. This is a really cheap made less body. Less pull body. I'm starting to get cold feet. Hey ho. Lost a bit of paintwork.
There's a maple cap on there, not much. It's a little thin. Well, that's more than a veneer. Let's see if I can get these out. <sighs> Without slipping. Next thing, can you see me? Next thing is to get the neck straight. Now I use this not straight ruler. Now you can see where I got mine from, but you can get them on eBay and stuff. It's quite a heavy duty. Basically I'm just trying to, I want to get the neck as straight as absolutely possible. That's about it. Let's give it a bit more to tweak. Obviously, um, if for any reason your 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 um, truss rod isn't moving that easy, put some like kind of I put like a bit of three and one oil down there, and just let it loosen up for, you know, a couple of hours, let it soak in. Perhaps hang it, let it soak in, and then come back to it and just slowly tweak it backwards and forwards, just slowly tweaking it like this until it comes loose. <laughs> And don't forget, um, some guitars have two-way truss rods. If you don't know what it is, look it up. That's pretty near as damn it. There's a slight curve here, but that's just part of the neck thing. Yeah, right, just, just trying to put the neck somewhat high. I kind of, I have this rest. You know, I don't have a proper rest. Anybody who's seen my videos knows that. Like, this is just my makeshift one, and I. I just find it easy to work with, and I just try to rest the rest the neck. I I should move this a bit. Rest the neck um, where I think it just braces the whole thing. So definitely gone too far. So we need to go back a bit. When it stops rocking, you know it's flat, or or it's too concave. Obviously, you need to check that. That looks good to me. Yeah, quite happy with that. So yeah, so if if um, if it's kind of arched that way, you you can it will rock. So you know it's wrong. And if it's arched this way. Um, you have to do it by sight, but basically this is a good this is a good little tool. Now the next thing I'm going to do, probably something you've got, is I use this steel ruler. You can use other things. You can use uh, like a fret rocker as well. Now what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for a, a uniform 
a uniform kind of neck, as in, like, you know, are the frets, do the frets look higher than other frets? Because when I s had the screws on this guitar, and it's set up, there was kind of a hump here. I could, I could, like, when I had the string straight, I could see there was a slight of a hump here. But it could be that the neck wasn't set properly. It could be that. So I always check with a ruler. So it's got to be, it's got to be that these frets were out. Yeah. Yeah. Way out. It's really important, right, to get the neck as straight as absolutely possible. I know you can't see my face, right, but it's important to do that because what we're going to try and do is when we refret this, is uh, we want to try and refret it uh, with the least amount of possible work as possible. So you refret it and basically only have to sort of just work on a couple of frets to make sure everything's level. That way we don't have to to, um, to crown each fret and do all that kind of stuff because it takes hours and hours and hours. If we can get away with that uh, as much as absolutely possible, that is, that is great. I mean, some guys that do uh, refrets, you know, that's what they do. They say basically they put new frets on, um, they get them all level, down to the same level, they stone them all or, or whatever you want to call it, and then they'll crown them all and you know, dress the frets and do all that that's a lot of work if you can avoid most of the work uh, why not so basically I'm going to attempt to put the frets in and not have to touch any crown in or anything like that just going to be doing working on the edges of the frets hopefully that's what I'm going for the last time I did a guitar the last two or three times I done a guitar um, it worked out fine so it can be done it is possible. One guitar, I actually, um, I, the fretboard was high in spots, which I'll show you that in a little bit. When we take the frets off, we'll measure it again with just a straight ruler. And if we find high spots, we'll sand it down. So that way we know it's going to be completely level throughout the board. Um, usually, um, you'll need one of these special jigs to do it all. But like, if you've got the neck straight and you've got it rested somewhere in the middle and it's reasonable, you're pretty more or less, damn it, on the money despite not having thousands of pounds of equipment, trust me, you don't need thousands of pounds of equipment to do it. Um, it can be done this way. Which it has been done this way for thousands of years, oh, sorry, hundreds of years, <laughs> decades, I don't know, I'm not gonna get into that argument, decades before these, these um, hundreds of years, before these uh, um, gadgets and things were, were made. So it can be done. So the next thing I think uh, to do is repaint the headstock because I hate that logo. <laughs> gonna repaint the headstock. Am I, am I gonna repaint the headstock? I don't know. I'm just gonna. Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Do you know what? I don't know. I'll have a think about that. Uh, and we was going to relic it, but I don't have the first idea about relicking. Um, I'll just maybe take a bit off here. Um, I don't know, I'm just going to go on YouTube now and find out how you do it. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. Uh, I kind of scraped away a bit with one of these. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm getting desired effect or not, really. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, uh, we'll just... I'll just shine it up. I'm not going to do any more. <laughs> I don't know if that's the effect I wanted. No, I'll just buff it up. I'll just leave it at that. So yeah, it's about as far as my uh, relicking skills are going to go. That looks all right. It's in the right place. Yeah, it's natural looking. I suppose I could beat up the rest of the guitar a bit, but uh, it's just it's beat up enough, isn't it? So uh, yeah. Um, 
I do. Oh, need to polish that a little bit. All ready to paint the headstock. Okay, so the frets are going in. Okay, frets are in. And trimmed. Now, at this point, what most people will do is they will um, level and crown, them, well, level and recrown the frets. Now, I'm not going to do that because there's just a couple of frets. See one there? There's only a couple of frets which aren't quite level. I'd say there's about four, maybe five, aren't quite level. So I'm just going to do them frets individually, which saves stacks of time. Um, yeah, it just saves loads of time. There's, there's nothing wrong about doing it that way. So uh, that's what I'm going to do next. Oh, no, I'm not. I've got to, I've got to, um, I've got to uh, go down the side here, take the frets down first, file them down this side and this side, and then I'll put a d an angle on it like this and like this. I'm not going to video me doing it because I've videoed it so many times. I'm just taking you through the process of this guitar. Right, so I've um, got the bridge on. It's a little chip there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not worried. It's it's a bashed about guitar. Um, so yeah, I got the uh, hardware on. Just see what it looks like. I really like the color of it. It's kind of got that kind of um, that kind of matte look to it. Anyway, yeah, done. The frets are done. So yeah, that's where we're at so far with it. Um, everything's been pretty much straightforward. Um, apart from the holes for these I had to make slightly bigger but um, I've decided that um, wiring it up I'm going to do it the same way as the EVH is wired up whereas the instead of the pickup wires going into the cavity here they go into the toggle switch cavity and that way I only have one cable coming back this way into there makes it much neater in there um, I prefer it that way I just think it's a better a better way of doing it um, and it takes less wire as well which is cool um, so I'm gonna do it that way I didn't explain myself properly um, because I'm not gonna have two volume two tones here I'm gonna have um, one volume one tone that's going to be dummy. That's just going to be a dummy. I'm not going to use that. And that's going to be a cutout switch. That's how come I can do it this way. Having one cable, uh, one piece of wire coming down. start to finish making a shit guitar into a bloody amazingly playing fantastic guitar if I may say so myself anyway if you like what you see on this video please subscribe hit that like button uh, put some comments in the bottom even those horrible ones that some of you people have been putting in all I can say to you is up yours um, I do what I do and if you like what I do watch it like it subscribe share it if you don't don't watch it catch you later <laughs>